Worlds of Fun is a 235-acre amusement park in Kansas City, Missouri, United States. The park opened in 1973 and is owned and operated by Cedar Fair, which purchased the park from Hunt Midwest in 1995. Admission to Worlds of Fun includes access to Oceans of Fun, a water park adjacent to the amusement park. History Worlds of Fun opened on May 26, 1973, at a cost of $10 million. It is situated at the northern edge of a vast industrial complex in the bluffs above the Missouri River in Clay County, Missouri. At the time of its opening, numerous modernization projects across Kansas City were in progress including the opening of Kansas City International Airport, Kemper Arena, now called High v Arena and the Truman Sports Complex. Mid-America Enterprises, seeking to capitalize on the citywide expansion movement, began construction on a new amusement park in 1969. The park was originally planned to complement a 500-acre hotel and entertainment complex, but a lagging economy during the park's early years derailed the idea. In 1974, the first addition to Worlds of Fun was the 4,000-seat Forum Amphitheatre opened in the Europa section of the park. In 1976, a new section opened in honor of the United States Bicentennial, the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, and was named Bicentennial Square. The new section included the debut of Screamroller from Arrow Dynamics, which was a replica of the first modern looping roller coaster, Corkscrew, that opened a year earlier at Knott's Berry Farm. In 1982, Oceans of Fun opened next door as the largest water park in the world. Also the same year, a sub-world, River City, was opened in Americana bordering the Orient section. Screamroller was transformed into Extremeroller the following year, which featured stand-up trains instead of the original sit-down models making it the first looping, stand-up roller coaster in North America. Several years later in 1989, Worlds of Fun ended the decade with the addition of Timber Wolf, a wooden roller coaster that initially ranked high in several national polls. Cedar Fair LP purchased Worlds of Fun in 1995. The new owners invested $10 million with the addition of Mumba, a DH Morgan Manufacturing Steel Hypercoaster, to the park's attraction lineup in 1998. Other notable additions 2006 – Patriot opens as the longest, tallest, and fastest full-circuit inverted roller coaster in the region. It was the park's largest capital investment on a single attraction at $14 million. 2008 – For their 35th anniversary, Worlds of Fun added a festival called Oktoberfest. 2009, a new wooden coaster, Prowler, is added to the Africa section of the park. It receives the Golden Ticket Award for Best New Ride of 2009 by Amusement Today magazine. 2010, Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights, a $1 million immersive light and sound experience, opens in the Europa and Africa sections of the park. Subway opens at Oceans of Fun. 2011, Planet Snoopy, an $8 million children's themed area, is added to Worlds of Fun featuring over 20 rides and attractions. An Ilian's carousel called the Grand Carousel is added to the Scandinavia section of the park. 2012, a premium line queue system called Fast Lane is introduced. 2013, Oceans of Fun receives full integration with Worlds of Fun sharing one admission for both parks. 2014, Windseeker, a 301-foot Mondial swing ride at Knott's Berry Farm, was renamed Steelhawk and relocated to Worlds of Fun for the 2014 season. 
2016, Planet Snoopy receives upgrades, including five new rides added to the children's area, with the removal of two former attractions. 2017, Mustang Runner Hus Troika, Falcon's Flight Hus Condor is added to the Americana section of the park. A newly remodeled entrance is introduced, and Winterfest is introduced in November. 2018, Nordic Chaser Max Seastorm is added to the Scandinavia section of the park. Timberwolf replaced their helix with a new 70-degree back turn. Great Coasters International constructed the new element. 2019, in the spring of 2019 Worlds of Fun is adding a new flagship restaurant, Cotton Blossom Barbecue. It will be 9,000 square feet that will seat more than 300 guests. <laughs> <laughs> Areas and attractions The park takes its theme from the Jules Verne book, Around the World in 80 Days. Worlds of Fun is divided into five major sections Scandinavia, Africa, Europa, the Orient, and Americana. Rides, attractions, shops, shows, and restaurants are named according to the area theme. Guests enter the park in Scandinavia. In 1997 the Americana main entrance was closed for the creation of Grand Prix, so the back gate became the main gate ever since. The next world to the left is Africa, continuing in a clockwise rotation. Guests would then enter the Americana section, followed by the Orient. The Europa section is located in the approximate center of the circle. Within Americana, lies the sub-section of Planet Snoopy the area of the park specifically for young children. Originally added in 1978 as an expansion of Americana, over the years the grounds have changed its identity several times. Initially it was called, Aerodrome, 1978-86, with futuristic rides for adults, it then became a children's area called, Pandemonium. 1987–97, then, Berenstain Bear Country, 1997–2000, and, Camp Snoopy, 2001–2010, and is currently, Planet Snoopy, new to the 2011 season. Past sub-sections have also included Bicentennial Square, River City, and Beat Street, which all have been absorbed back into Americana. Despite the lack of an Australian, oceanic section, the Australian-themed boomerang roller coaster is incorporated into Africa. Africa Americana Europa Topic Orient Topic Scandinavia Topic Planet Snoopy plus denotes an extra cost for the ride or attraction. Topic retired rides and attractions Past roller coasters Schussbuma, 1973–1984, a ski-themed steel roller coaster with ten separate four-passenger cars. Screamroller, Extremaroller, 1976–1988, the first stand-up roller coaster in the Western Hemisphere. Its only season as a stand-up coaster was in 1983, after which it was reverted to the original sit-down style. Zambezi Zinger, 1973–1997, a steel speed racer type roller coaster one of only two in existence at the time of its removal with an electric spiral lift and a fast-paced ride through the woods. Currently in operation at the Colombian National Coffee Park as Broca Colombia, South America. 
Orient Express, 1980–2003, the first roller coaster in the world to feature a batwing then known as a kamikaze curve, now a common element in thrill rides. Also, it was the second roller coaster in the world to have two interlocking loops. Silly Serpent, Funicular, 1973–1987 and Alan Herschel Company Little Dipper. The children's coaster was originally located in the Europa section of the park as Funicular and moved to the Africa section where it operated as Silly Serpent until it was removed in 1987. Flat Rides, Attractions Barnstormer, 1978-1983, a 100-foot-tall spinning airplane ride manufactured by Bradley & K. Added with the opening of the aerodrome area. Retired in part due to frequent shutdowns due to high winds. Incred O Dome, 1981–1997, an OMNIMAX style theatre where viewers could go on a virtual ride of, among other things, the Orient Express coaster. This appealed to visitors who did not want to wait in line or experience the real ride, as well as those with physical conditions which would prevent them from riding at all. The show was presented less than 200 yards 180 meters away from the actual ride. Omegatron, 1986–2001, a six-story, upside-down thrill ride. Python Plunge, a water-side type ride where the riders would carry the raft up to the top themselves. There were two types of slides. One slide was open-aired and went straight down, the other was a twisting tube. Grand Prix Raceway, 1997–2014 replaced by the Steelhawk. Octopus, replaced by the Scandi Scrambler. Thunderhawk, 2002–2015 a Huss topspin ride that flipped riders several times and took riders to a height of 60 feet. Crazy Cars, 1973–2015 a children's bumper car ride removed for Mustang Runner. Le Carousel, 1979 to 2016, three across horse merry-go-round replaced by Falcon's Flight Finish Fling, 1973 to 2017, a chance rides rotor, believed to have been one of fewer than six operating rotors in North America, likely to be replaced by Nordic Chaser. Topic: <laughs> Oceans of Fun. Oceans of Fun is Worlds of Fun's water park. It opened in 1982 as the world's largest water park. It is included with admission to Worlds of Fun, beginning in the 2013 season. <laughs> Fast Lane Fast Lane is Worlds of Fun's new two -line system for 2012. For a cost between $30 and $50 in addition to normal admission charges, visitors receive a wristband that enables them to bypass the normal weight line and enter the fast lane to significantly reduce their wait time. During Halloween Haunt, a similar system named Fright Lane is sold. Essentially the same purpose as Fast Lane, it significantly reduces wait time of select haunted attractions. Fright Lane Plus includes a skeleton key, a key that grants you special access to secret, intense rooms in six of the eight haunted houses. In addition, you receive special seating for Ed Alonzo's Psycho Circus of Magic and Mayhem. Fright Lane Max is a VIP system that allows you special seating at Overlord's Awakening, a meal, limited edition haunt t-shirts, plus all perks listed above. Topic. Worlds of Fun Village In 2005 Worlds of Fun opened the first on-site resort. The campground is adjacent to the park, and is located behind Mumba. The village has 22 cabins and 20 cottages and 82 sites for RVs, complete with electric and TV cable hookups. Each cabin or cottage can fit six to eight people. Topic. Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights 
Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights, which debuted in 2010, was an immersive light and sound experience starring the Peanuts characters. Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights features over 2 million LED lights and a variety of audio soundtracks through the Africa and Europa sections of the park. Along the walkway there were replicas of Snoopy and other characters for guests to view. Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights was a $1 million investment that used special effects and sound design, custom designed for Worlds of Fun by Emmy Award-winning RWS and Associates. Snoopy's Hot Summer Lights opened for its original run on June 4 and ran through September 5, 2010. Topic: <laughs> Halloween Haunt. Halloween Haunt is a Halloween event that takes place during the Halloween season. It is included in the price of admission. Topic: <laughs> Current attractions. As of 2018, it features 12 extreme haunts, including eight mazes and three scare zones, along with three spectacular shows. Topic: <laughs> Former haunt attractions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Games. Cole Lindbergh, former manager of the Parks Games Department, was featured in a 2011 episode of Public Radio International's This American Life Amusement Park. In the nine-minute prologue, host Ira Glass interviews Lindbergh about his management philosophy and plays segments from several YouTube videos he made to promote the Parks Games. Topic Gallery. Topic Incidents Topic Worlds of Fun In April twenty nineteen, a fight broke out that included about three hundred teenagers. The brawl occurred outside of Camp Snoopy. Topic Barnstormer In July 1978, during the ride's first season of operation, a malfunction of the 100-foot-tall barnstormer caused the spinning planes carrying riders to descend rapidly, hitting each other on the way down. Some riders were also sprayed with hydraulic fluid. In total, 20 riders suffered minor injuries. Topic: <laughs> Oceans of Fun. In 2016, a man was arrested after touching two young girls. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Orient Express. On June 14, 1987, a train that was pulling into the loading station malfunctioned and slammed into the rear of the other train inside of the roller coaster station. A total of 56 passengers were involved in the accident, but only eight were taken to the hospital for injuries. On July 17, 1999, two cars of a seven-car train derailed due to severe internal metal fatigue in a support post, stranding 18 people. Two were immediately taken to a hospital, and six went later. None of the injuries were life-threatening. Topic. Scream Roller On May 18, 1976, Robbie M. Myers, an eight-year-old boy, was struck and seriously injured by the Scream Roller after entering a restricted area. In 1977, Myers was awarded $1.39 million equivalent to $5.75 million in 2018 in a lawsuit finding Mid-America Enterprises responsible for his injuries. 
Topic Timber Wolf On March 31, 1990, two trains collided just short of the loading platform, injuring 35 people. The control system had malfunctioned and was unable to control two trains at once. The ride reopened with a single train until the control system was fixed to handle two. On June 30, 1995, a 14-year-old girl fell from her seat on the coaster and died. The park owner at the time, Hunt Midwest Entertainment Inc., and ride manufacturer, DIN Corporation, claimed that she was switching seats when the accident occurred. A riding companion claimed that safety restraints a lap bar and seat belt had come undone on a sharp turn at the top of one of the ride's hills. But, Worlds of Fun officials claimed that witnesses had seen her remove her restraints and tried to switch seats and that there had been no malfunction, though her family disputed this. The ride was temporarily closed pending an investigation of its safety features, which resulted in new lap bar installations. Hunt Midwest Entertainment Inc. and DIN Corporation settled with the family for $200,000. This makes the Timber Wolf the only ride so far at Worlds of Fun with a fatality. On August 2, 2014, an 11-year-old boy was taken to a hospital after suffering a concussion and a bloody nose on the ride. The boy said that as the coaster was descending down the hill, he hit his head and nose on the restraint and therefore had a bloody nose as he was exiting the ride. He had blood all over his shorts according to authorities. Paramedics wrapped the boy's nose with a towel to prevent blood from dripping on his legs and feet. Topic. See also. Closed rides and attractions. #Worlds of Fun. Incidents at Cedar Fair Parks.